For cheap, reliable, fast MT, make sure to check out NBAMTCoin.com. Link below. My discount code legs for five uh, percent off. Yo, let's go, boys. How are we all doing today? Welcome back to another video. Now, listen. Here's the deal. Before we get into the video, uh, I just wanted to say that we are. While I'm recording this video, we are less than 20 subscribers away from 5,000 subscribers. Before I get along with that, I should be able to hit that tonight. So, boys, um, first of all, thank you so much for that. Uh, when I hit that, I think hopefully I'll be streaming, uh, you know, the live reaction. But I really, really, really do, from the bottom of my heart, appreciate you guys showing love every single day. Uh, coming back here, uh, you're making uh, a little kid's dream come true, you know, uh, having uh, shit like this happen to me is just beyond, I'm beyond grateful for all of you guys. Uh, so basically, right now, if you're new to the channel and we haven't hit 5,000 subscribers, even if we have hit 5,000 subscribers, do me a favor and just smash the subscribe button, help me out. We are so close at this point, we're growing exceptionally fast, especially recently. Uh, 5,000 subscribers is just a goal that I've had, one of the goals that I've had. Uh, going into 2k uh, 19 so I just would really appreciate if you guys smash the subscribe button There's been a lot of ups and downs throughout the year especially in the channel But for now, I'm not gonna try to jinx it But the last two months have been all up which is I'm beyond grateful for so thank you guys so much now Let's get into the reason why we're recording because I don't want to get all like emotional and bullshit because it's literally this is a snipe filter video uh i don't feel it's gonna be five or six today welcome back to another video now obviously after we post a lot of videos, it's only right to post some ad filters this is episode number 21 i'm gonna keep doing this until you guys don't fuck with the series because literally you guys love this series you guys always come back for it so i feel like i've literally posted 21 episodes and you guys have shown nothing but support for it so yeah let's get into the first one now the first one is a max of 100,000. probably go into the game so the max bid is going to be 100,000. Um, the minimum buy is going to be 500, and the maximum buy is going to be 550. Now, this is an extremely consistent snipe filter. The reason why is because every single time a player is put up for 500 MP, and the, this snipe filter is especially good when you are, for instance, uh, especially good when people drop packs, so maybe tomorrow, if they drop like a promo, or they drop any big amounts of content, tomorrow would be a perfect time to go ahead and cash in on this snipe filter. The reason why is because people like me, especially, I, I'm definitely, uh, uh, I'm guilty of doing this. Like, I literally, last time I streamed of hack opening, I put up like three Galaxy Bulls for 500 MT. So, that's what I'm saying. People like me put up these cards for 500 MT, because why not? You know, I have 800,000 MT, I have the best team in the game. There's no, why, why not? There's no point in keeping these players. So, I'll just put them up for 500 MT, you know what I mean? Uh, and that'll definitely help anybody out. Uh, these snipe filters are extremely good. You can get good Galaxy Bulls. You can make so much profit off this. It's just, st it's stupid consistent. If you're wondering, why it's so consistent. Basically, in order to determine how how consistent the snipe filter is, you want to check out how many of each thing. So, when the auction house was uh, broken and you could see all the cards even after they were bought, basically, it showed how how consistent it was in an hour and it, it was an extremely high number per hour. So, guys, this is an extremely consistent snipe filter. The other thing, because it's literally all tiers, all themes, all whatever conference division everything all teams basically that's why it's so consistent because literally this snipe filter can give you any single player in the game and there are a hell of a lot of players in this game so yeah that's why this snipe filter is consistent uh, i spent a lot of time on that one because i feel like that's extremely important the next one is uh galaxy opal uh it's a galaxy opal snipe filter so it's gonna be galaxy opal uh it's gonna be max bid 100,000 mt the minimum um what the hell am i looking at right now oh my god the minimum buy is 500 and the maximum buy is about, I'd say it's definitely dropped probably 12,000, I'd say 15,000 maybe. Yeah, no, I'd say about literally probably like 12K is the move, 14K. Uh, I'd say 12K about, that's probably the best bet for you. Um, and that's just gonna give you, you know, people put up these Galaxy Opals for cheap. Obviously, like, people like me might put them up for even less, but again, this is just a great Galaxy Opal filter. People love putting up these filters for, these Galaxy Opals for extremely cheap, and people, I mean, it's, you're gonna cash in good. Only problem with this type filter, I'll give you, it's up and down. The ups is that you're gonna make a lot of profit off this if you get a high-rated card. You're also gonna make a lot of profit off it even if you get, like, a, not an amazing rare Galaxy Opal. 
problem with it is that it's very inconsistent. People don't like putting up Galaxy Opals for cheap. People like pulling up Galaxy Opals for the right amount or they like putting them up for bids. So I wouldn't say, like, uh, this is a, it's a great snipe filter for profit, but I wouldn't say it's incredibly amazing for, um, be for consistent wise. Consistent wise, it's not the best thing. The next one is a pink diamond snipe filter, and now we're going from Galaxy Opals, we're going down to back down to pink diamond, max bid 100,000. Uh, minimum by 500 and this is going to be i think this might be even less like two three k maybe uh three k about probably uh maybe five k is also not bad i think i think about five k is the move uh some of these pink diamonds go for a lot pink diamonds have dropped okay that's not bad it's like four thousand boys okay don't listen to me four thousand four thousand three thousand five hundred to four thousand these pink diamonds are super Super cheap at this point. It's ridiculous how cheap they are. So make sure to go ahead and cash in on these ones. Um, I just think that people put up these cards for nothing. A lot of pink diamonds have literally become gone from one of the rarest items in the game to like uh, probably the least. Like it's just incredible how cheap these cards are. You can find throwback golds and emeralds for way higher than these pink diamonds. But these are some good cards as well. Uh, a reason these cards are, are solid even if like they're just they're good cards you feel me uh, the only thing uh, there's some very high rated ones there's some very rare ones T-Mac is one that I still think goes for a decent amount and Mellow still goes for a decent amount uh, another thing with these cards is that for instance like some of these pink diamonds go for an insane amount an example uh, Giannis I think still goes the 20th anniversary Giannis still goes for a good amount I know for a fact uh, the Kobe goes for a lot as well uh, one that goes for way too much is the um, the fucking Pink Diamond Kyrie Irving. If you get that card, you're making like 500,000 MT right off the bat. So that one is super duper good as well. Next one is it gonna be a consumables. We're moving on to the consumables. Uh, oh no, this is just, re I'm sorry. This is just regular contract cards, you feel me? Regular contract cards and not, okay, contract cards. These are regular contract cards. Contracts go for way too much these days. It's ridiculous how much they go for. So that's why this, this night filter is going to save your ass and make you the best that you can be. Uh, contracts go for too much recently, especially with the whole triple threat thing, because triple threat games are so short um, and every single game takes up contracts. It's just, it's ridiculous. It's literally ridiculous, but I guess that's how this game works. Uh, I hope they, I low-key hope they get rid of contracts next year because it's actually kind of stupid how expensive they are. But um, uh, yeah, I guess you gotta live with it. Contract cards just go for a lot. Uh, this is good one, this set filter is good one because you can resell the contract cards and probably make a decent amount of MFT. But the most important part about these contract cards is that literally, if you want contracts, if you need contracts, literally just do this because I know how expensive contract cards are and I know what playing on a budget feels like. So if you don't have that budget, then just do this next thing. You should be able to make so much empty or just get yourself some contracts, you feel me? This next one is for, we're still on the diamond contracts and this is diamond contract. The max bid is going to be 20K. The minimum buy is 250 and the max buy is 20,000 MT. I don't think, yeah, so diamond contracts are super duper reliable, super duper good. Now, the reason why diamond contracts go for so much is that it's literally infinite amount of contracts. So that's really, really fire. Uh, in my opinion, right, contract cards, um, like I was saying before, they're expensive to post every single one. If you want to never worry about contracts, just do this night filter, spend what, like 100,000 MT on this and literally you'll never have to use contracts ever again and just add these and your players won't ever have to use these again i don't know how many players i actually have who have diamond contracts i literally have t mac i know kd has one uh does anybody else have one i think that's it because i, I guess that's because i literally sell and resell players all the time so i guess that kind of makes sense why i don't have any diamond contracts but uh uh yeah this next one is a silver snipe filter the max is going to be 100,000 mp the minimum buy is going to be 500, and this is going to be, I think, 500, 750, something like that. Yeah, probably 750. Even, I think we can go up to 1K, honestly. Are there any silvers that go for 1K? Yeah, so 1K. Why are silver so expensive, boys? Silvers are so expensive because they want to lock in these current collections, and uh, yeah, that's that's really it. Current collections, uh, and yeah. Same goes for gold, except this is going to be gold, and this is going to be a uh, throwback, I believe, where it's uh, this is gonna be throwback theme, so this is just another one. Uh, and uh, again, this is most of these players go for so much because of the fact that people always want. Oh, it's a sword, sorry. 
people want these gold cards uh, to complete the 3,000 tokens. I completed the entire Dota collection. That literally costed like a million MT. So that's why these cards go for so much, you feel me? Uh, yeah, but I think I'm gonna end the video there, boys. Thank you all so much for watching. Smash the like button if you're new. Subscribe if you're new. Uh, if we hit 5K already, thank you so much. All right, guys. I'm gonna. Riding with the top down, yeah I'm with my shorty, she gon' drop down, yeah I'm on a high, I'm feeling way up, yeah I'm in that new fit, looking laced up, yeah We living facts, and I know some people probably acting fake right now We been living facts this every day right now